Hello Jam Fiddle class. Uh, so the lesson that we're going to go over today is talking about um, technical fundamentals, uh, fiddle technique, such things such as bow holds, fiddle holds, um, keeping bow straight, all that kind of stuff. All right, I thought it'd be good for you guys to have uh, a resource that you can refer to while you're while you're at home studying and learning fiddle. So, um, okay, so let's go over the bow hold. Um, so we want to be holding the bow down here, right? Um, the way I do it is to put my thumb beneath the frog here um, so that I'm holding it on the on that point there and then I, I make sure my thumb is a little bent um, and at the same time I rotate my hand so that it's angled laying against the stick um, if you keep it flat then the bow's gonna be hitting your thumb in a strange angle so try rotating it so that you kinda feel the the pad of your thumb touching the frog like that. Um, now my my bow hold is more of a fiddler's bow hold that isn't necessarily viewed as, as the proper um, violin playing technique. Uh, so if you're gonna do more of the, the proper technique, um, you do basically everything I'm doing here, but instead of holding it beneath this point, the frog here, um, you'd instead hold it at the stick. So do you see how I put my thumb? I, I transfer it from here and put it in there. It's all the same principles though um, of, the, of the other bow hold. You still want that angle in your hand and you still want your thumb bent because um, that'll give you a lot of nice flexibility and looseness in your forearm and wrist. Um, okay, so uh, with our bow in terms of how tight we want it, um, we want it tight enough to where when we put it on the strings there's enough pressure um, but we don't want it we don't want it really tight um, where you know there's we don't want it so tight that there's a big gap in it and you can see that it's actually stressing the bow stick we don't want that um, so if there's a if there's a huge gap in your bow um, between the hair and the stick, that probably means that it's too tight. Um, but if the hair's too loose, um, like this, I'll demonstrate. So, so do you see how it's floppy here? The hair's floppy. If I if I jiggle the bow like that, it flops. Um, so then if I go to play, um, then then uh, the string is rubbing against the string of the fiddle here is rubbing against the stick and you don't want that either so you want to find that medium ground between um, tight and loose that allows you to put the hair on the string and apply a little bit of pressure with your arm without the without the stick really rubbing up against the fiddle string okay um, in terms of where you want your arm here when you're playing you don't want it up like this um, and you don't want it just, you know, tied against your side either. You want it instead, um, kind of, once again, between those two points. So, sort of just on a nice, um, on a nice angle like that. Just kind of want to let it sit there. Um, just lift your arm up a little bit. Uh, when it comes to fiddle hold, you want to make sure that you have the back of the fiddle here. Um, left side of your fiddle, back of the fiddle, resting on your shoulder, left shoulder, up like that. Um, and you want to hold it, put your chin on the chin rest and hold it somewhat tight in there. Um, because you don't want it going anywhere. Um, and then, um, when I'm playing, and sometimes you guys probably see me doing this because I'm I'm guilty of being lazy and, and not putting my full effort into my fiddle hold sometimes. But especially for you guys who are starting out, you want to instill a good habit immediately. Otherwise, if you carry on habits for a long time, um, that can lead to, to health problems, which we do not want. Okay, We want to be able to play our fiddles with complete comfort. Um, and so 
hold up your fiddle with your left hand um, so that there's a gap between your elbow and your torso or your side, okay? So you don't want this going on where your where your elbow is tucked into your rib or your side. You want you want your arm holding up your fiddle comfortably. I'm doing when I'm holding my fiddle, um, you know, most of the weight is all falling on my my left hand here. I'm I'm actually holding it up. like that, okay? Uh, as far as bowing the string, you want to make sure that when you're bowing, um, see how the best demonstrate this, make sure you flex your wrist, because if I, let's see if I can sideways shot here, if I, if I go, if I keep my wrist still here and I do this, see how that's gonna make my bow go off kilter. So what you want to do is you want to kind of push your wrist outward the more you get closer to the bow tip and then bring it back in. Um, and this is an easy exercise to practice if you if you go in front of a mirror and try to keep your bow straight. All this stuff will become pretty apparent to you in terms of what you have to do to keep it straight. So I would I would highly recommend an exercise of you know just practicing some some good long bows on an open string. There's nothing wrong with simple practice, you know, that doing that practicing a long bow on an open string can do a whole lot for your technique. Um, you know, it doesn't seem like we're doing a lot when we just practice a long bow, but um, think about it. You're practicing your fiddle hold, you're practicing keeping your bow straight, you're practicing your bow hold, um, you know, you're practicing your bow pressure. I mean, that's a whole lot of stuff you're practicing there just by doing one long bow. Uh, so I would highly recommend that. Um, so I think that uh, covers most of the most of the um, technique basics. Um, also, try to keep your shoulders somewhat straight. You know, we don't want to be hunched over because then that's going to make our you know that's going to bring everything to where it feels uncomfortable. We want to make sure that we're that we're comfortable here with our shoulders relaxing it. And honestly, that um, just relaxing when you play can just go a long ways, you know. Um, you'll, you'll notice a lot of people holding bows differently, you know, or they'll, they'll be doing something that doesn't seem like technique-wise makes any sense, you know. But I think one of the keys to them doing that thing is that they just feel super comfortable doing that um, then they feel relaxed, and then that doesn't really re lead to problems like it would in, in normal people. Um, so, uh, yeah, practice all those things um, this week, this weekend, um, and I'll see you on I'll see you on Monday. Yeah.